everybody, Ricky Adam Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, March the 17th, and this is my Equipace Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to the Big A first, Aqueduct Race Course in Ozone Park, New York, for their eighth race today, 4.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Four year rolls and up race for an optional claiming purse of $57,000. Contenders number two, Believe in Me Now, number four, Broadway Producer, number one, Temakula Creek, and number five, Bobby Sands. Number two, Believe in Me Now, is one half of his eight career starts, racing at or about today's distance of 8.3 furlongs on the dirt, is the speed leader in this field, comes off back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back power run wins at his last three starts. Jockey Sebastian Morales and trainer H. James Bond sent him to the post today. They've hit the board with 59% of their entry saddles, the team to date, producing a positive 57% return on investment in the process. Morales has been in his irons on three previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning twice en route to a positive 215% return on investment in the process. Race 8 summary number 2, Believe in Me Now, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 4, Broadway Producer, number 1, Tema Kula Creek, and number 5, Bobby Sands, 2415 in the 8th today from Aqueduct. Let's go to Gulfstream Park in South Florida next for their 7th race today, 3.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the 7th furlong sprint on the dirt track, 4-year-olds and up race for an allowance purse of $43,000. Contenders number 5 for the Grand Cru, number 4, the Roadhouse, number 1, Post Time, and number 3, Jockey Ridge. Number five, the Grand Cru has nice early speed abilities for the sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Number four, the Roundhouse posted a win in his fifth race back. His recent past performance sheet also show a trio of power run board hits in his last four starts. Race 7 summary, number 5, Le Grand Cru, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 4, the Roundhouse, number 1, Post Time, and number 3, Jockey Ridge, 5413 in the 7th today from Gulfstream Park. And finally, let's go out west to Southern California, Santa Anita Park, for their third race in the card today, 2.03 p.m. Pacific Post Time. It's a mile test on the cushion track, 3-year-olds racing for a maiden special weight purse of $46,000. Contenders number six, Life Goes On, number one, Millennium Lakes, number four, Elusive Beat, and number five, Congaree Park. Number six, Life Goes On, has hit the board in three straight with two of those board hit races also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Tyler Bays and trainer Bob Baffert sent him to the post today. They've hit the board with 55% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Baffert also has a nice record with his mate and entries hitting the board with 56% of nearly 175 winless runners saddled to date. Race 3 summary, number 6, Life Goes On, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Millennium Lakes, number 4, Elusive Bead, and number 5, Congaree Park, 6145, the third today from Santa Anita. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Hawthorne out near Chicago. Race 5, number 6, my pal Richie, 6 to 1 in the morning line. He's an overall speed for this 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt. And he raced tonight at the Charlestown Races in Slots Casino in West Virginia. Race 3, number 1, gold medal skier, a 5 to 1 shot. Drops by 8 class units. Decent speed for this 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt. So handicapping from Aqueduct, Gulfstream Park and Santa Anita Park on a Thursday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.